Before I start today's video, I'm going to link down in the description box below or link here a card to the BTS of this particular shoot. These images have already been color graded using Capture One and Lightroom and I provided the Lightroom version. I think I used my TJDS presets to color grade those images. I think I'll, sh I'll show them at the end of the video. But I also took the chance to use Capture One to color grade the image and I loved what I got. I was just playing around and I ended up getting a particular look I felt like I wanted to share with you guys. I'd already done this I think last year and I planned on producing a video but I got lost. I, I, I think I lost track of time and I never did produce a video. This was supposed to be one of the Capture One videos I wanted to release for you guys. So I'm just going to take you through whatever I did to the image to send it from this to this in capture one so without much further ado kindly subscribe to the channel let's get to 10k subscribers by the end of the year thank you so much for sharing my videos thank you for the support and also kindly leave a thumbs up at the end of today's video or just leave it right now because it helps the algorithm on youtube to push my video to other people you know when you like my content they tell people oh hey this guy's producing better content so go watch his particular video my name is Kojo Joey and please make sure you subscribe before you leave all right let's just jump right into it this is i'm using capture one 2022 enterprise the very latest version so you're literally going to see all the various tabs labeled right the very first thing i do is to go into my adjustment tab and i would want to open my layers and turn off everything i've done so far so that will start from scratch on my background layer i have my exposure sets let me quickly toggle before and after before and after and this is my high dynamic range before and after the reason for the reduction in exposure is because whenever i shoot outdoor images whenever i shoot swimwear images to be exact and it's much more respected or it's much more um, connected to darks and models i like to darken down my overall exposure just to bring you know bring out their dark melanin skin so that i can push in colors if you watch my videos at all there's a time i mentioned that you can find colors in your shadows and your highlights and also in your midtones and when you darken down midtones and you push in colors to these certain tonal ranges you're able to see the color separation in your image which sends your color grading to the next level so Whenever it is you want to color grade, try reducing exposure. That is why you see a lot of people or a lot of great photographers shoot underexposed image. So if your image is not underexposed right from the start, underexpose it in post processing by reducing the exposure. I add contrast, I reduce my brightness, and I reduce saturation because I feel like whatever it is I'm about to do, I'm going to push in a lot of saturation. Anytime I'm doing that in Lightroom, I like to reduce vibrance whenever I change my camera profiles, right? So here in my dynamic range, I reduce my highlight to get back some you know, information on down here and on the skin. Open up my shadows a tad bit, right? Just so I can see the information here because I reduced my exposure and I reduced my blacks also. This is what I did to the levels. I brought back the whites into the image and this is the before and after before and after so whenever i bring my whites into my image i reduce my brightness you understand just to compensate for that and here in my curves my luma curve i did a reverse s curve just to open up my shadows a little bit and you know give my skin a kind of glossy feel in as much as it was still glossy the next thing i did was to come to my clarity reduce my clarity and also reduce the structure after that, in my refine, I reduce my sharpness. I don't like to keep sharpness in my image. I like my image to be soft so that I can add greens to it to bring back the life I lost by removing the sharpness. I made sure this was short um, in focus. ISO 100, shutter speed one over 2500 f2.5 with a 50mm lens. You guys should just go watch the behind the scenes. After that, I come into my color tab. And here in my color tab, I go straight to my basic characteristic, the ICC profile, change it from generic to pro standard. 
here in generic generic has the generic canon reds which are found in all of the dslrs i think this problem has been fixed in the mirrorless cameras but you know what for what for what is worth i always like to change to pro standard just to start from somewhere so it's a pro standard here my white balance i did move my white balance a bit right so it was too warm and i make it i made it colder too warm colder right when it comes to dark skin models i like to push in some blue so rather than keeping it warm i made it colder i'm going to bring back the warmth very soon in my color editor i go to my basic tab if you follow my youtube journey and my lightroom editing series on dark skin models you know i like to play along with my red my oranges to darken down the skin so you can see red darkening down the skin over here same can be said for the orange the engine here in capture one is so different from lightroom lightroom gives you or light or like, i would say lightroom is on safe mode because whenever you move the sliders all the way to the end you don't see too much of a drastic change is gradual but when it comes to capture one let me show you when i move the lightness of the orange see what happens it's too drastic for me and it pushes everything to its extreme which is not what i am looking out for right so i keep it here somewhere and i'm fine when i come into my advanced tab then i do that more here so i did that more here with respect to the luminance of the orange here it's more you know specific as compared to the basic tab over here let's go into the skin tones and here within the skin tones i unified the hue with respect to the skin color right so this is before the color editor and this is after the color editor before the color editor and after the color editor next thing i did was to you know after reducing the um, luminance on the skin and all i felt like certain parts of her skin were looking brighter than the other so i went and used the style brushes too as provided by the new capture one all right let me just close all these style brushes and i go into light and contrast then i was playing around like i said and i use burn darkness so burn darkness if i toggle on the mask you can see where that was painted in so around her um chest area the leg areas and also on her face uh, so before and after sorry before okay this is after and this is before after before so after doing that i realized certain parts of her skin had too much red so you can see enhancements red skin reduction tap on the red skin reduction use the brush to paint out the most saturated reds on the skin you see me do this in photoshop when i use a hue and check layer to you know reduce saturation on certain parts of the skin so if capture 122 is giving me that then that's one good sign secondly i want to sell the image right because i have reduced i mean the luminance and the saturation on the skin and taking a look at the greens around the image they look a little bit more colorful so let's harmonize these colors by bringing them together this is me creating um, a new field layer and using renaming this to color grade one so if i toggle this off and toggle it back on i send the saturation of the greens and the lightness towards the direction of the image with respect to the skin so the skin is our main focus then you look at how you can bring the surrounding to the skin's you know um, um level or range however you want to put it so this is before this is after before and after so what you can see is a reduction in saturation in the greens not to make it stand out too much then some warmth into our image you remember we took the warmth out so let me show you what i did i brought the warmth back into the image by using the white balance not too much a little bit 
and in my color editor in the advanced tab you see me select the greens right then i reduce the saturation and open up the luminance i open up the luminance because most parts of the image has a lot of you know white or are bright so if i am to keep the greens looking darker they're not going to really sell the look i was going in for the next thing i did was to use my color balance tool to play along so create another field layer create a color balance tool and this is what we are getting this tool here in capture one the engine that is being used in the color balance tool here in capture one is much more better as compared to lightroom here is why when you're using the luminance slider over here so this slider you see over here is the luminance this slider you see over here is a saturation and this circle you see over here is a hue so what color how bright the color and how much of the color right and i have constantly said this here on my channel most colors are seen in the midtones highlights are part of midtones shadows are part of midtones so when we started we reduced the exposure to make it underexposed right we can even do that more by reducing the luminance of this and this does so much of a good job that it reduces and gives me just take a look at this so this is even what i did earlier this is the certain earlier and this is me sending it all the way down this is giving me the vibe of reducing the luminance of my oranges in lightroom if the advanced tool here is not going to give me my desired look i'm going to use the tonal um tonal balance tools or tonal color balance tools here to give me that look after reducing the luminance i warm up the midtones a tad bit then i push in some greenish cyan into the highlights and i push in some purple blues into the shadows let me quickly say this before i continue whenever you're color grading in capture one and you want to use the color balance so let me show you a quick trick warm up your midtones pushing some cyan into your highlights and pushing some blues into your shadows do with this whatever it is you want with such information i just gave but make sure you play around it adjust it to the point where they are both harmonizing the theory behind this is the complementary color rule right yellow to blue cyan to red and cyan to red in the sense that your warming up the metals are somewhat red orange so that's how i i play along with that in my head so after getting the image to this point right i want to sell the melanin look the more and by selling the melanin look you need to push in some blues into the skin and what way to do that more by adding another layer which is quite possible here in capture one you can literally do a lot here in capture one uh, i have a lot of videos with respect to doing a lot in capture one please make sure to check them out um, i'll try and remember to put them down in the description box below so another field layer capture um, color balance too and this time what i did was to add blues to all the tonal ranges the shadows the highlights and the metals right so this is before that and this is after that before and after so blues in my highlights cyan blues in my shadows and more cyan blues into my midtones and that is all i did to this image to sell this look so we started from here and we ended up here right here to here i have one last thing i would like to do to this so i'll come back to the top color balance one then i'll reduce right i don't want the white to well let's see oh i think if i push in the white it's going to sell the look even more but i want to tone down the white i mean which one sells the contrasty one or so yes let's just take it out and let me crop this image to place oh i think it's already yes all right 
let's see a little more by adding one last thing to this so refine then we'll go to film grain then we'll add some film grain to this let's double tap capture one this fine grain is too much i want soft grain yep so i'm just going to leave it at 40 then i'm done so this is the before and this is the after so before you see how we sent the image from looking like this to having much of a color separation in this with respect to midtones highlights and shadows so whenever it is your color grading always keep in mind you need to have a bit of color separation in your image which will probably sell the image the way you want it it can it can be the same way or it can look like it can look the same as compared to some other people but at least you know that you were able to move the image from one point to another point and that knowledge will help you in the next image when you know you're trying to play around with colors always keep in mind your complementary color harmony rule play with it however you want and you get the look you might probably be looking out for i hope this video was informative enough i hope i opened up your mind on how to use capture one to create amazing color grading or push processing your images before you get them into photoshop this same color grading i did here is what i copied and i pasted on the side so this is the before and this is the after before and after so yeah Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Leave down in the comment section below if you have any questions at all. I know people are asking me to produce the wedding presets for Capture One. I'm still in progress. I'm trying to figure a couple of things out before I put it out finally. I don't want to have problems with my Capture One preset. So please take time. Please be on the wait. I'm so sorry for keeping you guys waiting. But you see it come out very very soon make sure you subscribe before you leave this channel thank you subscribers let's get to it by the end of the year and thank you so much for the support you've given me so far at the start of the year or at the start of this youtube channel to where we are now leave a like like i said helps me a lot by pushing the video out to a lot of people that's what youtube is doing these days All right thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video